Okie dokie, this is uh, October 1st, first day of October. Uh, we've been up here at the cabin for a week last Saturday, so what's that, seven, eight, nine days today, um, I think. Yeah, just do the math, you can figure it out. Uh, we're getting low on water, we came up with a good supply of water already in the cabin, left it that way on purpose, and it was going to have a lot to do. Uh, right now it's about 30 degrees out, gorgeous, gorgeous day, but we have to run down to the creek and get water, so I thought I'd take you along. We're going to take our little, if I a shot of that, there's our water gathering device there, our uh, water jug on, a, on an old pack frame, which is what we've been using for eons now, but uh, I'm going to take a, take a little trip down to the creek and get water. It'll take about four or five trips, I'm thinking, so I'm going to do that throughout the day. i got a lot of other little piddly projects to do, but uh, anyway, let's get going. You see, most of the ferns are down, which makes uh, visibility a lot better. I'm not sure exactly how far the trail is down to the creek. It's probably 150 yards or so. But, uh, heard some noises this morning. Don't know what they were. Coxie was barking so incessantly at them that, uh, her echoing off the mountains didn't help any. Here we're coming up upon, uh, what was one of the early creek beds. The creek we're headed to used to run right in front of the, where the cabin is now. It's never run uh, this way since I've been here. The route changed. Here you can see that would be upstream. That would be downstream. Um, uh, you know, one of the number numerous uh, excuse me, floods uh, have changed this uh, creek over the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And there are a lot of other dried-up creek beds where it used to flow. But we're here, we're heading through the cottonwoods. And uh, soon we will be there. You can see right down there, it zigzags back and forth, this, this uh, old creek bed. It's pretty, pretty cool, the way it uh, ran and the way it changed route and everything. I'm kind of glad it's further away from the cabin than what it would have been because a lot of animals travel creeks, you know, and you don't want to interrupt their their lifestyle. And it's safer too in case a bear comes through. The, so you don't want to be right on the main highway. Now Coxie isn't barking because there's a bear or anything. She's upset because she's on her run and uh, Ulyaz and I are going without her. I'll make a couple runs this afternoon when it's her turn to run. But uh, we'll make a few this morning and just check out the creek and see what it's looking like. There should be an old coffee pot and a plastic funnel I made out of a booze jug down there. Hopefully the bears haven't played with it and uh, maybe taken it for their own. Otherwise, I'll have to come back to the cabin and find a, a different way of scooping up the water. Here, we're getting close. I just don't want my battery in this camera to die because it's only about 30 degrees out this morning, one of the colder mornings we've had. And there's a little bit of frost you can see, maybe. Not a hard frost, but I got a lot of video to stitch together for you guys to enjoy. We're gonna go this way, there's a trail that way. And I don't I know you can't see the trail, but trust me, it's there. <laughs> Been using it quite a while. The reason I go this way is because it's a lot easier access to the creek. There's a bit of a cut bank over here, which makes uh, getting back up with water on your back. This six gallon jug can be kind of a chore getting up a cut bank so we have a nice easy access over here. Uh, I'm huffing and puffing. It's hard to talk and walk and keep your footing in this god-awful terrain with all these fern heads and stuff sticking out of the ground. 
But here we are. Uh, no bears. By the way, my my bear dog Goliaz is going on 14 years old, and he's totally deaf. And his eyesight isn't too good. So, I am the bear dog today. He's in retirement. Oh, there's there they are. You can't see him through the wide angle, but my bucket's there. My, my coffee pot. Creek's pretty low, which means the glaciers are not melting. So it's just spring-fed for the most part, I'd imagine. Anyway, let's uh, start gathering water. I don't know how well you can hear me over the sound of the creek, so I'm going to speak up. But the operation is pretty simple. You just uh, scoop water out of the fast-moving current and uh, dump it into the funnel. It takes about 14 coffee pots or so to fill this up, uh, Reliance jug up, six gallons. Hold on back to the house. I won't transfer this one, this is a good jug, but I have a bad jug. Uh, it's got a leak at the top. And that's the one I use for transferring water into my aquatainers, which have the spigots on them. And it's just that simple. And it's a beautiful day for it. I have to make six runs today, I figure. And that ought to pretty much use up most of the day with the other little chores I got going on. Makes a nice relaxing day, you know. There's no pressure up here to really get things done. You work at your own pace. You start when you want and you quit when you want. And there's no guilt. You know, my life is my own. And I wouldn't trade for nothing. But uh, it does have its challenges. That's full. I'm guessing that's full. So let's uh, dump a little out and head back to the homestead. There we go. And that's about as simple and basic as operation as you can get. Uh, 14 coffee cups fills that thing or about. Uh, funnel is homemade. Screen and in it to filter out the big chunks is just mosquito netting. Uh, it's good exercise. I like doing it. I always love coming to the creek. Uh, it changes, you know, quite a bit, so you're always looking for something new, like, for example, that big root uh, ball right there used to be a very short but thick spruce tree, and uh, came down just because uh, she doesn't need any root structure, and uh, I don't know if it was snow load or what brought her down, uh, you can see that uh, spruce tree started leaning a few years ago, and now she's completely caught up been leaning into that birch tree like that for a year or so. Uh, another tree over here, this birch tree. That one leaning all the way across the creek there. Um, try to zoom in a bit on her. She was standing up upright uh, when I left here in the spring, but uh, she's been undermined and leaning completely across the creek now, caught up in that uh, birch tree over there. So, like I said, it always changes. And, uh, it's nice seeing the changes too, although you miss some of the old parts. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing how this place has changed since I've been here. But let's take this load back and uh, come back down and get another one. Let's see if we can negotiate our way off the gravel bar here. I do have my tripod with me this time to help. You'll see that I use this uh, funnel here. Let me get through this area. I gotta trim some of these uh, cottonwoods out of here that are, that are growing up. But if I go through here, the going isn't too bad. And you'll see that there's a nice little walkway up off the up off the creek as opposed to going up a cut bank. That's why we use this way even though it's a few yards longer. It's just easier. And uh, you guys just recently saw 
this path going in the other direction. Coming and going shop. Now I know a lot of you guys out there, gals included. When I say guys, I mean gals too. Uh, are wondering if I treat my water or filter it or do anything with it. And other than straining it for particulates, most particulates, not all particulates, uh, I don't. And I haven't. And I don't uh, think I ever will, except for company. I do boil water for company because they're very paranoid sometimes when they come up. But uh, in going on 11 years now, I haven't had an issue at all with the water. Oh, those dang fern heads, they're hidden underneath the dead ferns, and you just, they're all over the place. And they are ankle twisters. You can't see them until you're stepping on them. But uh, I've never been sick from the water up here. I have been sick from municipality water. You take a look at places like Flint, Michigan and other places. Uh, they have problems all the time. So I'm very confident of the water up here. Now I don't recommend you doing that. That's not the point of what I'm saying. It's just, at my, it's my comfort level. I believe over the years, I have built up quite a resistance not only to moose poop, but Iocane powder. Take that, Wesley. Oh God, I'm channeling Dennis Miller again. Oh well. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's uh, how I get my water. That's that's my water run. Uh, I made five or six trips that day. Uh, obviously this outro is being shot months later. This is actually uh, almost the middle of March now and uh, that video was, was uh, shot in like the first week in October, something like that. So it's, it's been a while. I've been busy doing things and, and trying to get these things organized. It's just been kind of a nightmare. But uh, And the fact that I don't know what I'm doing has probably a little bit to do with it too. So that's why I'm having to sh shoot these other clips and outros and intros and all this other stuff. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you thought it was uh, uh, entertaining. Uh, I'm not going to recommend that you do it. That's that's your own comfort level. That's your own choice to make. But that's the way we used to do it uh, years ago. Your canteen cup was hung on your backpack strap, and you just stopped at a, a creek and, and took a drink. And I've done it many, many times in both the Rockies and the Cascades and never had a problem. Uh, you have to kind of know where your, what your water source is, too. I wouldn't recommend doing that out of a lake or a beaver pond or anything like that, for sure. But but uh, you have to make up your own mind on that. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope you liked the video. Please thumbs up if you did like it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what your experiences are. I'll try to uh, read through as many as I can and thumbs up and comment if I can. It's been kind of slow getting these videos online. Had a kind of a strange winter. But anyway, just uh, keep clicking back onto my channel, and there's more stuff coming, all sorts of stuff coming. So just uh, be patient, and hopefully it'll be worthwhile. So you guys take care, and I'll see you soon.